Hey guys, so today we are celebrating St. Patrick's Day and to celebrate I created this nonsensical character. We're making the dreaded four leaf cobra, the protector of the gold, the big bad boss man that the leprechaun has to fight to get to all of that coin. Now I make a ton of cakes and some cakes are just so much more fun to work on than others. And this was not fun at all. <laughs> it was terrible, I hated it, but it turned out fantastic so I don't really know how to feel. But let's get started. My name is Shaquille O'Neal and I did, I, I did a do the basketball thing. So to create this cake, I'm starting with two bunt cakes. And they're both funfetti because I realized that it looks very pretty on camera. Now the snake I'm creating is a coiled snake and the bunt cake really lends its shape to that form. So I just removed the edges from the top of the cake and started to round out the sides. Each of the bun cake molds have like some grooves, so I did have to shave away some of that on the sides as well. And I just repeated that process with the second one. Doesn't that funfetti look so happy on camera? Have you ever seen a pecan bun cake? That ugly brown color it looks so sad. After I finished shaping my cakes, I just cut them in half and started to stack them on top of my cake board with a PVC pipe that has been glued down to the middle. I'm adding some buttercream in between each layer of cake and just spreading it out with my offset spatula. Smoothing it out, just smoothing it out, moving it around, and then adding on the next layer of cake. I'm gonna add some buttercream on top of this layer and then start on my second bun cake. On goes another layer of buttercream and then my top of my second bun cake. I'm just gonna give this entire cake a crumb coat. There's a lot of fun that's going on top of this and you wanna make sure that none, none of these colorful crumbs appear on, on that layer of fondant. Now I cut my PVC pipe down just a little bit so that I can get the neck of my snake just the right length. Um, and to create my snake's neck, I'm actually just gonna wrap the pipe in some Rice Krispies treats. I was gonna do just fondant, but I felt like it would be too heavy, so that's why I went this route. Now to hold up my snake's head, I'm using a dowel, and I'm just using some Rice Krispies treats as well as a craft stick as support for the head. And then I added my Rice Krispies snake head. Ain't she a beaut. And because this is a four leaf cobra, modeled after the four leaf clover, I had to figure out a way to hold up the four leaves. And I decided that I was just gonna glue on some cardboard. I was supposed to do this originally with fondant, but it fell apart, it crumbled, and I didn't know what to do, I was so angry, so. This is what I did. You know what, the top of this cake isn't edible. It kind of is, but it kind of isn't because there's glue and cardboard everywhere. Now I wanted to give my snake a little bit more shape in the back, so I'm also using some Rice Krispie Treats. One of the problems I encountered was that this cake was just way too high for my itty bitty fridge. So I actually had to cut the neck off the rest of the cake. I'm just gonna use three craft sticks to reattach it after my cake had time to set up in the fridge. And before I put it in the fridge, I actually had to carve away just a little bit at the bottom so that I can account for the snake's tail. Oh, that fun fed is looking so good. Now this doesn't actually make sense if you think about it because the top layer of the snake is a complete circle. So it's not really connected <laughs> to the rest of the snake. It's just there. But this is also a cake, so I'm not gonna stress about that. <laughs> now while my cake was in the fridge chilling, I was Netflix and chilling, and I was watching The Umbrella Academy. I loved that this very dysfunctional family was able to exist even though it was all foreign blood. They were not related at all. I love the way the siblings interacted with each other. I love the superpowers and I love, I love Mary J. Blige. I wanna see her act a lot more. If you haven't seen The Umbrella Academy, then go check it out. And if you have, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's get back to this cake. And this was where the cake got really frustrating. I didn't really like working with a cardboard, but I was, I had to, and I was over it. <laughs> 
I took the separated head and then put it onto some styrofoam just to hold it up while I work on it. I cut some green fondant out into the four leaf clover shape and just paneled it onto the back of the cardboard. I painted the inside of it with some magic sauce just so it would be tacky. Just adhered it to the cardboard. The fondant I'm using is like, it's a different brand, so it's it dries out so fast, I hated it. Gosh, so terrible, so, so terrible. I didn't want the cardboard to be seen at all, so I added some fondant on the inside just so that I could blend the edges to the rest of the fondant. Now just like the back of the cake, I'm paneling fondant onto the front. And to do this, I'm covering the leaves separately. So the two on the left and then the two on the right. I'm just blending it together with, I don't even know. I was so over it at this point. It crossed way too fast. That's why I should just use a Wilton's fondant. I don't know. I love that fondant, but this was on sale. You pay for what you get. You get for what you pay for. You watcha watcha watcha. So again, paneling it on the right side, doing my best to keep myself together because I'm extremely pissed off at this point. <laughs> and then I started to panel some fondant to create my snake's face. Oh, he's looking so cute and so scary. This texture came from a, a rolling pin. I bought this on Amazon for like $16. Wow, look at all that work I don't have to do. I didn't reach all the areas of the face, so I did have to add some texture with some sculpting tools. It took a lot of time as well. I feel like this whole video is just going to be me complaining about making this cake. <laughs> but it turned out so well, even though it was terrible to make. I need a haircut also, by the way. You can probably tell. Once I was happy with the way that my snake's head turned out, I started to work on the rest of my cake. I'm just paneling the same sort of green fondant around the entire cake. And I think this actually turned out really well. Now there is a seam where I'm gonna place the end of the snake's tail. Is a snake just one giant tail? It is, right? There's no hands, there's no legs. It's just a head and a tail. I'm just tucking the fondant underneath the cake and I'm not even really doing that good a job. <laughs> I gave up on this cake a long time ago and then I cut away the excess fondant and then started to add some fondants on the inside of my snake cake. I wasn't sure that the top piece of fondant was gonna wrap away all the way to the inside so I just added this as a precaution. Then I wrapped the entire top of the snake with some green fondant. Tucking it in on the inside and repeating that process of tucking it in at the middle of the cake. Yas. I mean, it looks okay. It's not the best work I've ever done, but it's not terrible. It's fine. I'm okay. I'm over it, whatever. <laughs> Once I was satisfied or like whatever with the quality of my work, I decided to add on my snake head. And because there is this sort of separation between the bottom and the top part of the neck, I covered it with another piece of fondant and just blended it in with some fondant tools. Yes, now it's starting to look pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of mistakes and you can see a whole bunch of stuff that I just gave up on, but for what it is, it's bomb. I made a snake head. What? I should be very proud of that. And I did add a very long tail to the side. Look at that mess in the back. I'm not turning this cake around ever. This is where it was probably the most frustrating was painting the cake. I decided to go with green at first, but then it looked too pedestrian. Like if I went to the zoo and I saw this snake with this very generic green color, I would just like walk, walk past it. Where's the zebras? Where's the hippo? Take me, take me to the Harambe Memorial. I didn't like it, so I decided to change it. Now I was Googling pictures of snakes and I saw this really cool golden snake statue. So I decided that I was gonna go in that direction. Just decided to repaint my entire cake with gold and create a golden snake. The idea of the leprechaun fighting the snake was totally stolen from The Hobbit. It's basically The Hobbit going up against Smog, except I made it the leprechaun going up against the golden snake. I'm curious, do you guys think the gold is too extra or do you think it looks better than what I was originally creating? This makes it look so much less like a cake and so much more like a sculpture, I think. I did add a little bit of black detail just so it had that sense of like snake scales. 
This actually made it look less like a gold statue and more like an, a living gold snake. Yeah, after I added the black, I was like, okay, this looking pretty good. Okay, I can be proud of this. Now, I didn't think it looked demented or evil enough, so I added spikes to the ends of each of its four leaves. Oh, and I thought the spikes would be really pretty in black. And yo, guess what? I was right. They look so bomb in black. A little bit more black detail just to match the head to the rest of the body. And then I added some extremely red eyes. They're just six slits, you guys. But they look so bomb. Look how shiny they look. And voila, my golden four leaf cobra was complete. I know I complained a lot in this video, but the final product is undeniable. Yes, my fond technique on this cake was terrible, but the way that the black paint highlights the gold luster dust, the way that the red eyes sparkle is so captivating. Oh man, there were so many times that I just wanted to give up on this cake. When I was creating the head, I was like, I'm just gonna stop. The fondant broke. I don't know if I wanna put cardboard on this cake. I'm just gonna stop. But I had already finished like the body. So it's like, I just have to power through this. And I'm glad I did because it looks amazing. And I'm just, I'm so excited to smash it. It's, I feel like this is gonna be so rewarding to smash. All the frustrations that I have making this cake are just gonna be released. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what kind of cakes you'd like me to make next. The next holidays for me are Father's Day and Mother's Day and I think for Father's Day it'd be cool to do a seahorse and Mother's Day would be really cool to create a kangaroo. But if you have ideas then let me know in comments. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!